Fractional distillation is a, looks like a rather complicated topic when it comes up, but it's actually really rather easy once you understand what's going on. So down here we have crude oil, which is our mixture of different length hydrocarbons. Um, there are some short ones, there are some long ones, and they all do different things. This is our fractional distillation column. This here is where the hydrocarbons are going to come in, and this is where the hydrocarbons are going to come out once they've sorted themselves out into the different little bits. So here we have a, a medium sized length hydrocarbon. It's going to come in here and then it's going to kind of like wiggle its way around until it, until it kind of gets stuck and, you know, wants to try and wiggle up there but can't. So it has to come out at this end here. Here we have a slightly shorter hydrocarbon which can do a bit more wiggling. It can wiggle there, it can wiggle there, but uh, it kind of gets stuck and can't really wiggle through that bit. So it will come out there. Here is a um, very short hydrocarbon, if I can get hold of one of them, very short hydrocarbon, and it can wiggle all the way up to the top and pop out at the top there. And again, we can see all the different length hydrocarbons, we're kind of like wiggle around until they can find their way out um, to the correct locations. So fractional distillation column is kind of just a way of sorting things by size. And it does that all based on um, uh, boiling temperatures. Um, the, um, the ones that are gonna stay a liquid um, are gonna come out uh, down here at the bottom. So this, um, and this really long hydrocarbon here, it's going to kind of come in, it can't really go anywhere, it's going to come out at the bottom here, and it's going to be really thick, it's going to be really gloopy, really runny, whereas this tiny little hydrocarbon here, it's going to wiggle all the way up to the top and then come out up here as a gas. Let me just sort this last one here. Probably going to pop it about there. So we're going to have the ones at the top, they are going to be gases, and the ones at the bottom, they are going to be like sticky, yucky gunk. So these gases are going to have low um, boiling points, let me try that as BP, and the, the sticky, gunky stuff at the bottom are going to have really high boiling points. And it's really the, the boiling points or the condensing points that um, cause the, the gases to separate at different um, levels. So if, if they have a high boiling point, they're going to come out at the bottom here as um, liquids. If they have a low boiling point, they're going to be able to go all the way up to the top um, and come out as gases. The reason they can separate by boiling point is because down here it is very hot and then up here it is a lot cooler. So at the top where it's a lot cooler, the, the, the smaller ones can make their way up, whereas the, the hot ones that have a very high boiling point need to come out at the bottom. So you need to know different um, properties of all the different things um, that come out of the hydrocarbons. So like I said, the ones at the top are going to have low boiling points and the ones at the bottom are going to have high boiling points. The ones at the bottom are going to be very viscous, they're going to be very thick, um, they're going to be um, they're very, very, very gloopy. The, um, the ones at the top are going to be very runny, so they're going to flow very easily. They're going to be very volatile, they're going to be very flammable. Thanks for watching, I really hope this is helpful. Subscribe so you don't miss any of my new videos. Share to help your friends get better grades. Any comments, corrections, questions or requests, down below please.